What's up, peeps? Today we only have one focus, and we're going to go over the comments and topic of how to clean a stamp turtle video. And before you watch this video, get on your YouTube, and you see that guy right there with his baby on the tractor? You click on that and subscribe. But our focus today is we're going to focus on this video down here. And we're going to read these comments. Okay, this is Darian Logan. And, and I'm going to show you what you need to clean Let's get to it. Okay. I forgot that YouTube switched the comment thing till like they're up instead of you scroll down now. All right. First comment. Jeeky Pro. Please do not kill a turtle. Clean a turtle that was, that is already dead. First of all. You must be a vegetarian. But even if you was a vegetarian and you eat salad, you would be killing the salad. Like you'd be cutting off the lettuce. Whatever. Do you get on like other people? Okay, so I'm not the first person to make a stabbing turtle video. Do you get on there and bash them about the clean a turtle that you don't understand how stupid you sound? Like. Why would I kill something that's already dead? Like, you wouldn't be able to kill something that's already dead because it's already dead. And you'd get sick. I would die. Like, if I died and you cared about me, then you'd probably be like, I wish you killed something that was alive so then you wouldn't be dead. So, anyways, your comment don't make sense. And you're probably not subscribed, so... But anyways, I agree with Young Loco when he said, get your crybaby ass on somewhere. If you don't want to watch it, then why'd you click on it? Exactly. I don't think anybody could ever come straight to the point than that guy right there. Like, idiots. Anyhow, um, you should have made turtle egg omelets from facepalm. That was a week ago. Uh, I ain't really big into omelets, but I guess I could give it a shot and uh, post a video for you. I'll try to remember to tag you in it, too, so you can see it. Jamal Swan said, Horrid. Um, I didn't know it was a movie. Okay, moving on. This is disgusting from Taylor Loverkrings. Um, uh, Taylor Loverkrings, um, you're probably one of them type of guys that when you change oil, if you get oil on your hands, you probably think it's really disgusting. You're probably just one of them type of guys. Mo Mo's Jack ninety one. Yeah, don't forget the flays, the tenderest part. Bro's got a natural knack for a knife. Okay, this should have been the main topic of this video, guys. I know what y'all are talking about when y'all are talking about the tenderloins, okay? I've done it before. I take little cutters and cut the, the little ribs on the back, and then I get the tenderloins that are out. Um, I don't think it matters that much. I mean, y'all probably still going to bash me now, but <laughs> I got y'all next time. Next time I clean a turtle, I'll get them little tenderloins out just for y'all, all right? That's all I got to say about that and uh, about the natural knack for a knife. Um, little do y'all not know is um, I used to I used to work at Marksbury um, for a while, probably three, four years. So I'm used to cleaning a bunch of animals. And, um, you know, that's where the knife, the, the instinct comes from. But uh, anyhow, um, next comment. Puro Bean Bean I Ben Ben Well Take out. I don't know what that means. Jose Ardon. Probably nothing positive, so won't care. Always drill a hole in their shell and use an air truck to blow air and it will separate the meat from the skin, blowing out somewhere, then cut the feet off and take a block, draw two nails across the corner, then bend them over you don't work without moving around. Daniel Oxine, I appreciate that, but um I mean, I was trying to do it as natural as possible. You know, just say, for instance, somebody watching this video and then they do like one of them challenges where they go out and it's like a survival challenge. You eat what you catch. And if you don't bring, like, you don't bring nothing, you just eat what you catch. 
So, like, not everybody's going to have an air compressor and nails out there in the wild. So, I try to do it as natural as possible. But I appreciate your, your comment and um, help. I really do. Um, Joe Berea, you're throwing the tenderloin away, amateur. Sorry. Square binder. There's a red face. So, I mean, maybe y'all know what that stuff means. I don't. <laughs> I took only time I took Spanish was in sixth grade, and I sucked at it then. Um, if that is Spanish, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I just don't know. Um, but that was from Ivan Godboy. Uh, Aruida Pacamar said crew. No, oh, this is a funny one. Regina Arjugano said no saque. Pala de el Toro el Avaro el Avdo or something like that. And I said, I said, what does that even mean? And somebody named Ray Smith comment said, it means that shit looks bomb. Send me the recipe. Goat. You're a goat for that. Um, dang it. Clicked out of it. We're going to get through these comments now. Cause I, I bet you are, I hate. I bet it sucks having questions that are unanswered. So that's the reason I'm doing this for y'all. Okay. Okay. So I don't know how to say your name, but he called me a bastard, man. Sarah Benzi said, Moi Chi Phil. I don't know what that means. And then that same guy that I told you called me a bastard, man. He said, Bastard Man, Turtle's still alive when he cut the head off. It was going to die anyways. So. Where can I get a turtle, June Miller? Well, down here in Kentucky, um, where I got that turtle from is close to turtle season. We'll uh, we'll go down through a river at nighttime and we catch them with, with flashlights. It's real dark, and we'll see them swimming around. Sometimes the water's up to your waist, and I mean your your shoulders and your waist, and you'll just dive down and you'll go down and grab them. But um, uh after like between spring and summer you usually see them crossing the road and stuff and that's probably the easiest thing i don't know where it is where you live but that's how we get them down here and um oh yeah they don't sell them at the grocery store down here if you just want to know <laughs> um angie vo crank order i don't know how to say that i ain't gonna mess that up good video never try turtle have tons of the snappers in our creek quarter mile from us might have to give this a shot Absolutely, I'd give it a shot. Turtles, it's pretty good, man. Kind of like gator. You use some recipes for us, this too. Yeah, I'll send you some recipes. Good job, Blue Truck. Oh, yeah, and that was Blue Truck that said good job. The Viper HD said some recipes for this too, whatever he said. And then Nuya Britness is the one I was talking about, how she said she, we need to give us a shot. Okay, um... Little Rascal, 59. Great job, bro. Other than the back straps, you were very respectful of the turtle sacrifice. Not to waste any of the meat. See, I like these positive comments because um, you just don't understand the sacrifice of a YouTuber going through. Like, this was an edit video, having to stay up late nights, just trying to get the video, like, real right. Like, y'all don't, don't understand what all it takes to, just to upload a video. So, I appreciate that. Um, and, I mean, I was trying to do my, make my best cuts and not trying to waste anything. If I saw a little piece left on skin, I'd cut it off. Like, I try to do everything I can. And, um, yeah. So, June Miller wanted to know what turtle tastes, what turtle tastes like. Uh, the texture of it is, like, I can't say, like, chicken. Um, it's tough. Like, um... If you have you ever ate a gizzard, how a gizzard like you're actually like pulling it's tough, but if you cook it like in a soup, it, it you know it gets real tender. So, but if you fry, it, it's like it's like a gizzard. It the the texture is, but it's like a fishy chicken taste is like the flavor. That's the best way I I think of describe it. Um, Jose Ardo said Pearl como las. I don't know what that means. Ivian God Boy said Monstro. Um, buddy honeycutt said good video but not in fast forward you know guys uh i'm sorry about the very after i went back and watched the video um i'm sorry that it was like went that fast and all that but you gotta think of this way. it was my first video that i ever posted and i wasn't too good at youtube and i ain't now and i wish i would have done it like just regular time but that video would have been like 
24 minutes and if y'all are interested in watching that video that long just comment below just look at it for instance okay i made a groundhog video and it's like 24 minutes but no what's it only got like 198 views and this video had just reached 34k views and it was fast forwarded so i don't know it's kind of a love hate relationship what's going on love the video can you do more turtle rabbits etc from Ch chiquato chiquatic uh yeah yeah i'll have more coming soon i'm a cooker i'm either gonna do a, a mallard how to cook a mallard video mallard duck next or i'm gonna do how to cook snap turtle next y'all just y'all comment below and tell me what y'all like great video you seem to earn every amount every ounce of the meat butcher and turtle have you ever tried using a board with a nail through it stick the no um i haven't fun times with leonard good video thank you great Archie Milo, great. I really want you to show how to remove the flaming young portion of the snap turtle, which needs to be cut out of the shell. Yes, I know that. Jen, Carissa, I'll do it. Um, Toe, Apocal, dope video. Thank you. Yeah, show you how to clean the snap turtle on freaking fast forward. Thanks for the roast. I didn't know he was having a roast content. I love how these people get on YouTube and just try to roast the crap out of me. Like, I ain't trying to roast y'all. Thank you. Good job, man. You forgot the back straps. It's good meat. Yep. I'm sorry. Now, tell me how to cook it and buy turtle meat in the store. I'm really down for tasting that. Steel pack, 69. You just can't buy it in the store. You got to get it yourself. I don't know. One time I was... I, I do weird stuff. Like, one time I got on eBay... And I searched squirrel, and you could buy squirrel meat in a can. But my teacher told me I probably shouldn't order it. So, dang man, can't believe you wasted liver, heart, and succulent rib meat. Succulent, I can't talk that good, sorry. Holy dang man, I only give you a thumbs up because you cleaned it properly. Well, I appreciate it, Studio 26, A. Eh? Um, I'm just starting now to come out like, um, my girlfriend's dad introduced me to beef liver and I seemed to like it. And then, uh, after I killed my deer this year, um, I kept its liver and tried it and I really liked it. But this video was like way before it. Like I was like anti-liver, so I'm sorry. Um, Dallas X, you missed the best part of the turtle. You didn't get the back straps hidden in the shell. And then somebody else commented and said, yep. Need a small axe to break the shell. It's fairly easy and really tasty. I'm sorry, guys. Really sorry. Really, 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 really sorry. Let's see what else we got. You forgot underneath the shell beyond the ribs. There's a lot of suffocate meat. Um, that's not it. Like I had a bunch of people bashing me on there, but um. I mean, some of them got removed because of YouTube. I didn't remove none of them because I ain't worried about it, really. But anyhow, um, yeah. So, I'm sorry. I'm probably not going to make another video about this. These previous comments um, or future comments, I'm sorry. I will make another Snap Turtle video of just removing the, the um, tenderloins just to make y'all happy. I mean, um... Yeah, we'll go from there. Um, if you would, if you would want me to show y'all how to clean, I mean, not clean, um, cook a mallard duck, or uh, cook a snapping turtle, just comment below. And um, if any of y'all, if y'all, any of y'all that I requested y'all's comments, like I, like I got back to you on the video on this video, give me a thumbs up to let me know that you know I answered your comments. Thank you and have a good day. Peace out.